Hi, my name is Daniel Samlo. I work for Sony's developer program. Uh, traditionally, Sony has always developed TVs and cameras, PlayStations and music and movies. What not all people know about is that Sony is making a lot of semiconductor components, such as microcontrollers, laser LEDs, memory chips, etc. Those components have traditionally only been available to larger companies who produce mass production products until now. So what Sony is doing now is releasing for the first time a open source development board called Spresence. The core of Spresence is it's, uh, it's, so it's uh, Sony's um, proprietary microcontroller. Uh, it's a six core ARM-based microcontroller with up to 156 megahertz. So it's a fast microcontroller. It has an integrated GPS and also high-res audio capabilities. You can also apply up to eight microphones, digital microphones, and basically anything is only your time and creativity that is the limit. What you can do with this is that you can also add features depending on what your use case requires. So some use case requires connectivity, then you can add Bluetooth connectivity. Some use cases require that you have accelerometer sensors, for example. Um, you can use either add-on boards you apply to this board here. You can also use the adapter, which we call the extension board, the Presence extension board. And that makes Spresence compatible with reg regular Arduino shields. So here you can see the main board applied on the extension board. The extension board is merely an adapter to make it compatible with regular Arduino shields. So the, the, apart from being an adapter, it also adds a headphone jack and an SD card holder here. Um, some of the demos we have here at the Maker Fair in Rome are audio applications to show the high-res audio qualities. We show drones, we show robotics, we show camera implementations, and we even show an artificial intelligence implementations on one of the demo stations. So the first demo I'd like to show you is a camera demo where we have configured the camera here. The camera board you see is connected to the main board inside here. And it takes a picture every 10 seconds and it uploads it to a picture server who displays it on the display here. What we want to show is a really power efficient solution in case you have a remote surveillance application. So we even run this on a battery, it's not connected to power. And this has been running all day. I'd like to show you is an artificial intelligence demo and the main purpose is to show you how fast the microcontroller really is. The microcontroller is based on six ARM cores and it runs up to 156 megahertz. So this demo here can recognize gestures. Here is a camera pointing downwards towards the whiteboard and it recognizes my gestures so I can do a rock, scissor, paper, rock. I can do this really quickly. And now, the Presence Development Board is using all of the six cores to be as fast as possible. It's concurrent processing using AI. So, the Presence Development Board is ideal if you want to make drones using the inbuilt GPS. You can add sensor boards for accelerometers, gyros, etc. You can add Wi-Fi connectivity for, uh, in this case, we have a remote control car here using Wi-Fi and a smartphone to control it. And on this side, Presence has plenty of inputs and outputs to control a robot that moves. And in this case, we have applied both a camera and a screen on top of it. development board it has a built-in audio amplifier to get high resolution audio so you can either use headphone solutions or you can connect speakers in this case to play high-res audio the 
development board can be programmed in uh, three different ways. What you see here in the background is Scratch for younger developers. You can start already from the age of around eight or 10 years old. And then you can also, as a beginner, use the Arduino development environment. And there you can use it as a beginner or to medium and advanced programming. And finally, we have a C-based SDK for C programmers to do really advanced programming to utilize all the six cores in the microcontroller.